Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Grant Hardy. I was in a motorcycle accident uh, six years ago. Uh, left me uh, paralyzed from the pretty well from the chest down. For Antonio Ramuno, the impact was life-changing. And as he underwent rehab at Vancouver's GF Strong, the road forward was unimaginable. Uh, you know, I was on all kind of medication uh, for the depression and, and just super, super, super tough to go through. I just focused on the movement I had and getting more movement. So I, I pretty well made it a full-time job. Now, were there any challenges with continuing to work out from home? I started looking for a piece of gym equipment. Um, everything was so big and bulky, it took up a lot of room. I had no room for it, and it was pricey. It was thousands of dollars. Um, I couldn't afford it. So I started thinking about the TheraBands that GF Strong sent me home with. Um, I thought, you know, well, why don't I make attachments on the wall so, I, you know, I can do it on my own. And uh, kind of one thing just led to another. I added the bands. I added the bars. Uh, you know, I, I added the free weights. And just over a period of time, it developed into wall gym. The original wall gym is exactly as it sounds. A vertical wall, roughly six feet high and three feet wide, containing multiple forms of resistance training, which according to physiotherapist Jimmy Fenwick, is easy and safe to use. Us physios tend to recommend a lot of rehab exercises using exercise bands. Patients are taking them home, they're disabled, they're trying to find places to connect their TheraBand, and they can't always get the right setup. And then if you want to change the exercise, it can be quite difficult. And, uh, you know, another concern of mine is just uh, regarding safety. I've, I've had a number of patients, they tie their TheraBand to, I don't know, let's say the door, the doorknob, and, you know, they get exercising and that knot comes loose and the TheraBand kind of launches, right? And it, it could cause injury. So I believe something like the wall gym really addresses the safety concern, uh, the ability to and maneuver it and set it up for just the right exercise. And it's pretty reasonable as far as pricing. So something like that in our field, uh, I think is a great asset. Jimmy liked the idea so much, he's since worked with Antonio on improvements and had one installed at the hospital he works at. I'm down there almost every day, playing around with it and discovering new exercises. Um, and it's been a great benefit I believe, to our department and many of our patients. People have certainly liked it and they, they feel like they get a good workout. Um, and I've had a lot of positive feedback from it. I'm up to standing now. I can stand for up to 45 minutes. Jimmy says it's Antonio's drive and creative mind that encouraged him to invent the wall gym to help himself and others. As driven as he may be, Antonio still needed personal support to make his idea a reality, which he got from his mom, Constanza Ramuno. Antonio had a logo that said, let's go. And I mm -hmm. kept reminding him, hey, let's go. Antonio, you can do this. Antonio, you can do that. You know how mothers sometimes can be a little bit pushy. I can't say enough about my mom. Um, she's been beside me through this whole thing right beside me and has you know pushed me to my limits i'm able to stand i'm able to take steps i'm able to transfer in and out of my chair you know i, I just want to get it into people like me who can't afford exercise equipment and have no room for it it's really made a big difference for me for more info on the Wall Gym, check out walljim.ca.